Hello and welcome to this edition of Video Ask a Master, where we show and discuss all things Mimeo. We had a great question come in from Martha. She's wondering, how do I create my own gallery file? Creating a new gallery file is simple. In this short video, I will demonstrate how to create a new folder within your gallery, how to add content to that newly created folder, and also how to export your file, that way you can share it with others. Let's get started. If you're wanting to create a folder just within your main gallery folder, you can easily do that. Simply select the gallery folder and either right click on it and go to new folder or come up into the top menu of your gallery and click on the new folder icon. Next, add in your new folder name. We'll call ours Thanksgiving. Add in keywords, as many as you can think of, and then press OK. You'll notice that my new folder for Thanksgiving has been added just as a subfolder to my main gallery. If you want to create a subfolder of an existing folder within your gallery, simply click on that folder and once again either right click and go to new folder or select the new folder icon right up here in your menu. Type in the new folder name, add your keywords, then press OK. So now that you've created a new folder, let's add some content. Here I have a few images. One option for adding new content is using your copy and paste method. With your copy and paste method, you have a few options. You can right click on that image, come down to copy. You can also select your image and use the copy icon right up here in your menu of your Mimeo Studio Notebook window. Now come over to your gallery and once again you can either right click and go to paste or you can come into your top menu of your gallery window and press on the clipboard. That's going to paste your new image in. You'll notice when we've added an image it created a tab here for images. Your Mimeo Studio Gallery automatically knows what type of file is coming in and therefore will create a necessary folder for that. Here we have our new image. To rename that, all you need to do is right click on it, come down to Properties, and type in your new name. Once again, add your keywords in and then press OK. Here we have another image. Again, you can copy and paste. This time, I'll use my right click option. And once again, rename your object, right clicking and go to Properties. Press OK, and there you go. Maybe you want to add a template into your gallery. Here's a page that we have in our file that I know I'm going to use multiple times. What I need to do is turn on my tab view. Click on View, Tab View, and turn it on your left or right hand side. From here, you can either copy and paste or drag and drop. This time, I'm going to drag and drop. Once I release my mouse, I have added in my new template. Once again, to rename that, you want to right click and go to Properties. We'll call this Writing Paper. Add your keywords in and press OK. So now we have images and we have a template. Let's add in some multimedia. Another option for adding content into your gallery is by using the Insert File icon in the top of your Mimeo Studio Gallery window. Once you click on it, you're going to navigate to the file. Here I have a spelling video. Select it and press open. You'll notice that my gallery now will create a new tab for multimedia. And here is my new spelling video. For a full list of files that your gallery supports, click on that insert file icon. And at the bottom here, where it says files of type, drop down the all files menu. Here you can see a full list of all the different file types that your Mimeo Studio Gallery will support. And now let's add in a lesson. To do that, I can also locate that file on my computer. Here I have a PDF. And again, I can copy and paste or drag and drop. Let me drag and drop my Thanksgiving story over into my gallery. You'll notice a new tab will be created for lessons. Here, now you can see my lesson, my Thanksgiving story. 
Now you've created your new gallery folder and hopefully you're going to share it. In order to share or transport it to another computer, you need to export your file. To do that, simply click on your folder and click on the Export Content Pack icon in the top right hand corner of your Mimeo Studio Gallery window. Next, you're going to navigate to the location where you're going to send your file. I highly recommend sending it to an external source, such as an external hard drive or flash drive. That way you can easily back it up or transport it to another computer. In this case, I'm just going to send it to my desktop. And now my gallery file has been exported to my desktop. Now you'll notice here today I've created a, a new folder for Thanksgiving. If you're planning your Thanksgiving lessons, look no further. We have a great gallery pack right on MimeoConnect.com for you to download. To find this awesome gallery pack, simply log into your MimeoConnect.com account. And on the main homepage, you can scroll through the featured lessons and you'll see it featured right here. Simply click on it from here and scroll down where you can click on that green download button. Remember, when you download a gallery pack from MimeoConnect.com, you'll need to open it up and it will automatically load into your imported content packs folder within your gallery. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. If you have a question, please visit us at MimeoConnect.com Ask a Master.